Micrography is a special type of calligraphy which utilizes minute letters to provide a unique interplay between text and image. They tell a story or present a poem at the small scale and form an image when viewed from afar. Creating such images requires an immense time investment and technical precision. In this work, we present a method to create digital micrography images from a given image and text. The main challenge in computerizing this task is to develop a text layout algorithm that depicts the input image using a set of readable text lines in an automatic or user-guided setting. The dual nature of a microgram dictates two sets of requirements, one concerning textual readability and the other concerning image recognition and aesthetics. For readability, we need text lines to have low curvature and a natural ordering or coherence. To convey the image, the text should adhere to the shape and shading of the image regions and have smooth, coherent directions throughout. To generate a desirable layout, we use the streamlines of a smooth symmetric vector field. However, smoothness is not sufficient in our setup, as smooth fields can still have curved and incoherent streamlines. Hence, we develop a method for designing coherent low curvature fields via boundary constraint design. Specifically, we control where the vector field is forced to align with a region boundary, and where not. The nodes in our graph are the vertices of the boundary polyline. Each vertex has an associated attraction value indicating how strongly we want the field to be aligned with its tangent. Here, green shows strongly aligned regions, and red, weakly aligned regions. We define alignment labels using a graph cut approach. The graph edges contain weights defining similarity between their desired labels. The similarity weights can be negative, indicating a preference for different labels. Here, green is positive, and red negative. This reduces our boundary initialization problem to a graph cut, but with a mixture of positive and negative weights. We use a stochastic quadratic programming search algorithm to find a solution. Here we show both local and global minima solutions to our problem. They are mere images of one another. From a point of view of similarity, both solutions are equally good. However, the selected right one better satisfies the attraction component of our optimized functional as it reduces the number of short text lines. We then compute a smooth vector field conforming to the computed boundary conditions within each region. Next, we trace lines inside each region based on the text amount or user preferred size and compute a consistent ordering of the lines. Lastly, we use the streamlines to lay out the text generating the final micrography image. We show more examples of our results. This example shows the ability of our method to handle thin linear regions as well as large filled areas to produce a pleasing result. Since our results are generated automatically, the user can change a variety of output parameters such as font size or color palette on the fly. We show two examples of the Jolly Roger flag. On the left, the image was created with our automatic alignment algorithm to produce a singularity-free field. The right shows an alternative field generated with our method given the user preference for horizontal alignment. Here we show a comparison generated from two different underlying smooth vector fields. Our method shown right generates a coherent singularity-free layout that follows boundaries whenever possible. 
The increased coherence in our layout is even more evident when colors are removed. Here are some additional results.